Okay, so we were in the chapter on diagonalization, and we were looking at orthogonal diagonalization. Okay, and we were about to finish it by seeing how to orthogonalize a set of more than two vectors. So we orthogonalize a set of two vectors. Now we're going to orthogonalize, or actually orthonormalize a set of. See how we orthogonalize a set of arbitrary number of vectors, and that's one way of doing that is with the Gram-Schmidt procedure. Okay. Take a set of li n linear independent ve vectors and turns them into an orthonormal set. Right. Now here's the whole procedure, but I can never remember the procedure, so I always want to have to invent it from first principles myself, and I find that to be easier and nicer than remembering it, so let's do that. So we start with our set of n linearly independent vectors. Okay? Now, it's going to be a very similar procedure to what we did with the, just the, when you had two vectors. Okay, we want to get a new set. We want to get a new set. U one, U n, such that they are they have the same span, and those new ones are all are all orthogonal with each other. Okay, so first of all we can say set u1 to be v1. Okay, fine. Now, instead of saying, saying I'm going to calculate u2, so calculating u2 would actually be the same as the procedure for two vectors, I'm going to say how, if we had, if we had u1 to uk, how would I calculate uk plus 1? Okay, so we imagine we have u1 to uk, which are all orthogonal to each other. So we have this, assume we have those that are all orthogonal. Um, so, how would you calculate uk plus 1? Well, you would want uk plus 1, okay? You could say that uk plus 1 could be a linear combination of all the u1s, all the u1s, of u1 to uk, and also vk plus 1, okay? So, it could be... Um, sum where we have there's a linear thing uh, so a scalar there times by the ui's okay um, and i goes from 1 to k okay but we also have a little bit contribution from vk plus 1 okay now there's no need to put a scale in front of the vk plus 1 putting a scale in front of the vk plus 1 would be equivalent you know having Having k plus one scalars for this combination will be equivalent to uh, to being able to choose the length of your, of the uk plus one. We don't care about the length; we just care about the direction. So it's okay to just use k scalars, and it's convenient just to for the one without the scalar for where place where the scalar is one to be in front of the vk. Because later on we're going to normalize the, all, all these vectors anyway, so we don't care about the length. Okay, then we want the inner product of uk plus one with any vector uj, where j is 1 or 2 or 3 or anything up to k, we want those all to be 0, right? Okay. So, if you do this in a product, so it's, you put this sum in here, sum in here. Now, you're going to get a, a, a big sum of things, right? Uh, because of this the, this whole sum here, and the inner product is linear, you're, you're going to get a, a whole sum of things, right? But most of them will actually be zero, because most of them will involve a u, inner product of a ui with a uj, okay? And that's always zero, because these are orthogonal. We've chosen to be orthogonal. We've already, we've, we've already constructed those to be orthogonal. So most of the terms in this thing end up being zero, except when you have you have you when you have j equal to one that won't be something zero right so when j equals oh sorry when I don't want to say it like that I want to say rather when most of the, most so we have to be fixed the j now it's something between one and k now this i 
we have all these terms with these indices i, and they're all going to be zero because they're all going to involve u i in a product of u i with u j, which is always zero unless i equals j. So the only term that survives is the one with u j, u j, okay? And then there's this a j in front of it, of course, and that's it, okay? But there's also the term, the vk plus 1 term. So you also have this um, inner product of vk plus 1 with uj. Okay. And this will tell us what the aj is. It tells us that aj is minus vk plus 1. Right, because, sorry, because this whole thing is this inner product needs to be zero, it tells us that this thing is uh, divided by uj uj, which of course is, is not zero because the uj vector is not zero because it's an eigenvector, because it's in the eigenspace. Okay, so this tells us what all the aj, the ai's in that thing are, right? Because this thing, this formula gives us aj for j being any number from 1 to k. So it gives us all these AIs, and so it tells us what UK plus 1 must be. So in this way, given, given um, U, if we have U1 to UK, if we have U1 to UK that are orthogonal, we can construct UK plus 1, which is orthogonal, also orthogonal to all the, to, to the, all the one U1 to UK, as long as we make it this linear combination using these coefficients for the AIs, so the AJs, whatever you want to call them, okay? So this is like an inductive thing. We can conduct, construct uk plus 1 given uk. Now we start off We start off constructing u1 like this, u1 equals v1. So we have a place to start. So we can carry on, and we'll get all the un. And they'll all be orthogonal to each other, OK, by our construction. And thus, they will be independent of each other. And so we'll have this set which has the same span as this, right? Because there'll be n vectors orthogonal to each other, so n linear independent vectors in the same space, which is n-dimensional, because this was a basis for it. Okay, so that constructs the um, the, U, the the u1 to uk. So, so you start off like this, and you do you repeat this step lots of times, and you end up with u1 to un, which are all orthogonal to each other. Now you need you actually want them to be orthonormal, so then, of course, you just can divide them by their norms. So this set, divide each one by its norm, or multiply each one by 1 over its norm. No way of saying that. Maybe a better way of saying that. And, yeah, you have an ortho orthonormal set. So that's really the gram schmidt procedure. But I can't ever remember this thing without actually going through the working. Okay.